Did you know that there are other letters to the LGB community? Those letters were introduced in some parts of the world, but not every country. Today I will fill you in with the importance of the TQIA plus community. TQIA plus stands for T, transgender, so a term used for those people that have a gender identity that differs from the sex they were born in, they were assigned in. Q, that stands for queer, an umbrella term for all those that don't identify themselves as heterosexual or cisgender. I, that stands for intersex, that according to the Office of United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, means individuals born with several variations of the sex characteristics, or in other words, that don't fit in the typical definitions of male or female's body. And then for the last, we have A, so a sexual, aka gender queer, uh, that are people that have a gender identity that isn't male nor female, so it stands outside the gender binary. I'm into this issue because for my 8th grade state exam, I needed to search and analyze a topic that I am really passionate about. I decided to search the LGBTQIA plus community. This also because the, I know a few people that in school and out of school, and as well some friends of my parents, that have uh, and express different orientations. Fortunately, there are many activists on social media that uh, teach how to approve themselves and promote inclusion. But there are as well people that, uh, for, for example, homophobes that uh, diffuse uh, discrimination. I know personally a girl that stands in the intersex and the transgender community, a girl friend of my parents, that is, uh, was assigned as birth uh, as a male body, but she literally was more comfortable in a girl body. Recently, I saw a video of a man attacking three transgender women for no reason, for their way of being. Or as another example, I saw a teen attacking a transgender woman and the crowd wasn't caring about it. They were doing videos and photos for the internet to go viral. As part of my community project, I decided to do a book where the illustrations were about were of the fourth and fifth elementaries and uh, I gave this book to the second and third students of BESS. I wanted to give the message of being kind and uh, open-minded with uh, those people who may think that they are different from us. And so I wrote this book about the families you might find, so all the different types. Stephen Covey, an American educator, once said, strength lies in differences, not in similarities. And I agree with him, diversity is what makes our world great.